Hey friends, before we start today's episode, I have an important message to share with you. As you must be aware, due to certain new policies, you are not able to comment on our videos. But don't you worry my friends, you can still share your valuable feedback, comments, views and love at our email ID peekabookidsfeedback at gmail.com. Similarly, you can also visit our Instagram and Facebook page and continue to engage with us. We are looking forward to hearing from you. It's a bird! It's a plane! No! It's a superbug! Ah! What a joke! <laughs> it might sound unreal, little kitty, but what if I say humanity is currently on the verge of creating a real super bug? Really? Yes, little kitty. Hey, friends, I know you must be feeling as confused as kitty. So, in today's episode, let us learn about the chances of humans facing a real life threatening super bug a type of bacteria resistant to several types of antibiotics and try to answer the question how antibiotics work to get rid of them zoom in bacteria they have been ruling the earth since ages and are found everywhere under the sea in the air on the earth's surface and millions of them are crawling right upon your skin and staying inside your body but don't you worry my friends as most of them are friendly harmless and helps you in biological functions such as digestion and immunization but there are a few naughty ones that have bugged humanity for a long time and are responsible for spreading diseases such as pneumonia, tuberculosis and other infections that spread like wildfire and can be fatal. This wrath of invading bacteria continued for centuries until 1928 when Alexander Fleming, a bacteriology professor, discovered penicillin, the first true antibiotic a drug that kills germs in your body. Later, when the antibiotics joined forces with vaccines, it helped to eradicate many severe diseases by quickly destroying even the most stubborn form of bacteria and saved millions of lives. But the question is, how do antibiotics do this? Well, Although bacteria might come across as a simple single-celled organism, there is a pretty complex mechanism working inside its body that keeps it alive. So, antibiotics disrupt this complex mechanism by stopping its metabolism, which slows down their growth rate, which helps to get rid of them easily. While some antibiotics prevent successful DNA replication in bacteria by targeting its gyrase, an important enzyme that helps unwind DNA for replication. By removing gyrase from the equation, antibiotics effectively prevent the bacteria from multiplying that ultimately kills them or by merely tearing the outer wall of the bacteria so that their inner parts spill out and they perish ASAP. And they all do these things without bothering other body cells. How smart, isn't it, friends? But after losing the battle against the antibiotics for years, in recent times, a small minority of bacteria have started to regain their strength and are constantly developing ways to protect themselves as more and more of our antibiotics are becoming less and less effective 
and the crucial question is why and how well the answer to this question is darwin's theory of evolution yes my dear friends like any other organism bacteria can undergo random mutations that give them the tools to protect themselves for instance some bacteria have found a way to intercept the antibiotics and change its molecules so that it becomes ineffective or they have developed pump like body parts that ejects the antibiotics out of their bodies before they could harm them not only that but some species can also release their dna upon death to be picked up by other bacteria while others use a method called conjugation connecting through filii to share their genes and as time goes by this leads to the formation of superbugs a powerful bacteria that are immune to multiple antibiotics and if we continue to provide the breeding grounds to these bacteria by overusing and misusing the antibiotics it might cause many pandemics in the future but don't you worry about it my friends as these bacteria evolve new antibiotics are developed with advancements in science and technology every now and then so stay calm and stay healthy and if you catch any illness do visit your doctor instead of taking medicines without prescriptions with your time did you know antibiotics don't work for everything yes antibiotics fight bacterial infections but they don't work against viral infections that means they are not effective against the flu or the common cold also in the year 1945 sir alexander fleming who discovered penicillin warned the world that overusing antibiotics particularly at low doses could lead to widespread resistance hmm only if we could have listened hope you learned something new in today's episode until next time it's me dr binox zooming out no kitty i'm a doctor i give those medicines to patients oh never mind